Hail adventurers! Welcome back to the Wyvern's Lair. I am DM Wyvern returning back to the Capital Wasteland, Fallout 3. Before we begin our latest adventure here at the Wyvern's Lair, let me go ahead and welcome all the adventures we have here at the beginning of the latest tale. We're joined by Garrus, aka Lizard Flame 1, saying, and here you start playing as soon as I throw the tournament darts. Have a great time out there, Garrus. Let us know how you do the tournament. We got our great friend Yunsagi 1, aka Helga, a wasteland warrior extraordinaire herself. Good to have you here, Yunsagi, our dear friend. We have Drake of the Wyvern's Lair, Gone so far, good friend of ours, saying, Woohoo! Taking the dogs out, be back. Sounds good, Gone. Thank you for dropping by. Homemade sandwich, just on time. Break of the Wyvern's Lair, Knight of the Badhammer, and my good friend Flint Fireford saying, Oh, hell yes, day stream. You know it, baby. We're back bright and early for more Fallout 3. Got nothing planned this Saturday afternoon, so it's going to be one big Fallout extravaganza here at the Wyvern's Lair. Adventurers, please join me in welcoming Drake of the Wyvern's Lair and our good friend, Thay Wiz Guar, saying, I'm here too. Ah, <laughs> says, I just rage quit playing myself. I need a snack. <laughs> why Why did you rage quit, Fireforge? Anyway, back in we go. So, uh, let me take a look at my pip and see what we're doing here. I think we were trying to get rid of our weight, uh, which we've done semi-successfully, I guess? Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Yeah, I think we're, we're good here. Fire Force says, Rad Scorpions suck. That's why. Oh my goodness, they are devastating. Yeah, if I ran into a, a, rat, a rat Scorpion, I'd definitely rage quit as well. Fire Forge. The, the Capital Wasteland could definitely be deadly for a, uh, a new Vault Dweller. Um, so we're heading back in. We're still looting the Super Duper Mart for all it's worth. And we're actually... We haven't quite completed that quest that we're on. I'll tell you which quest we're, we're dealing with. We're dealing with Wasteland Survival Guide. We had to find food in the Super Duper Mart. We already found medicine. And once we have that, we can return to uh, Moira Brown and complete the quest. Fireforge with a helpful tip about turning on the lights last session. I didn't loot the Chinese pistol. We'll pick it up this time. Waste not, want not, I say. Six rad scorpions? Holy smokes, Fireforge. Where in the world were you? All right, let's grab those uh, ammo rounds. You need a lockpick skill of 25 to pick this lock. Interesting. Where? Well, that means that there'll definitely be many uh, a loot box that we're not going to be going to be able to get into because this character is really stat statted for combat. Melee, small guns, and eventually big guns. That's what we're we're aiming for here with this character. Um, anyway, we'll continue working our way through the Super Duper Mart. My handiwork from the last session: Dead Raiders scattered around. Wiz says, anyone know if the new TV show is worth it? Yeah, Fireforce says, Wiz, you should join us in Discord tonight and find out. Uh, the, uh, Wiz, I'm going to be streaming episodes 2 and 3 of the Fallout TV show for the Wyvern's Lair community this evening, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. So if you want to come out and check it out for free, uh, you're welcome to join us. It's going to be on a muted voice chat channel. So we're all going to be watching the, the program together, um, and we can use the... Uh, channel text chat to sort of you know um share the experience if you will should be a good time fireforge was there last time myself we had gabriel rodriguez suzanne good crowd homemade sandwich says i watched every episode yeah i could i i can well imagine the uh, desire to watch every episode homemade sandwich that's kind of how i felt at the end of episode two all right, there's the food storage. Blanco, back of cheese, crunchy mutt fruit, and Salisbury, Salisbury steak. Okay, that, and that did complete the, the food quest for ourselves. That's great. Let's just take a look and see. What do we have here in the way of lootables? 
Always pays box of detergent and cola. What do we have here? Dirty water. Leave that alone. Stim packs are very valuable. We'll pick that up. Vodka couldn't really be asked. A laser pistol and energy cells. Interesting. A bottle cap vine. We'll take that. Could be useful. Another later laser pistol. More energy cells. Got a intercom we can activate there. And I think that that's it. That's all. All they wrote here. Good. Okay, excellent. Let's head out of here. Flit says, it's so hard not to binge. I hear you. Thank you all for being here this uh, Saturday afternoon. I usually don't stream uh, on the weekends, but you know what? I, I just had such a fun session in Fallout last night. I had to come back and put in a little bit more time. Thank you all for joining me. Spending your time with uh, with us here. Yunsagi, how have you been? Yunsagi is playing Fallout 3 on her end. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Before uh, I talk to Moira Brown, let me go ahead and talk to the friendly caravan merchant we have out here. Last session, Lucas Sims fell to an assassin looking to blow up Megaton. I didn't get off my shot fast enough to save him. Ah! Oh, they're no longer here. Hey, robot friend. Fireforge says, I was about to stream Keiju number 8, episode 2. I have never heard of that game. Yeah, you need something? Wiz, do you have any experience with the Fallout series yourself? Alright. Uh, Children of Adam. I think this leads up to oh luxury apartments okay nope. don't want to bother with that local cult not of interest to us I think this is the right way this Chinese assault rifle we got off uh, Lucas Sims his body wasn't considered stealing so because of that, we picked it up and are now putting it to good use to defend the wasteland. Uh, crater supply. This is where we want to be. Moira Brown. Huh. Did you know the human body can survive without the stomach or spleen? Hm. Oh, what's up? I don't think that's quite right. Let's talk about collecting the stuff from Super Duper Mart. So, how's the scaving been? Got the food and medicine from that Super Duper Mart? wasn't easy, but I got the food and the medicine. Really? You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. Hmm. Those raiders must have shot me 20 times, but who's counting? You do what you need to do to get food and medicine, I guess. It's not pretty, but I guess that's the way it's got to be, right? Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. <laughs> the taste kind of grates after a while. Oh, oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, um, better. All right, I'm ready to continue research on the first chapter. I still need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Hmm. What's this about radiation? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Want me to get irradiated? How could that possibly be worth it for me? Oh, don't worry so much about it. I'll be here waiting with a nice tall glass of rad cleansing Brahmin milk for you when you get back. Well, mostly just a whole lot of Rad-X and Rad-Away. And maybe even a more reliable way to get rid of radiation. 
Assuming it works, of course. Okay, I'll get it radiated. Just be right to fix me up when I get back. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Right. Uh, let's see what you have for sale. Absolutely. Let's see what she has. Any rounds that we're interested in. Maybe some more stim packs. Oh, wow. Got a bunch. Um, let's take two. Oh. Yeah. It's going to be 74 caps, okay? And let's see. What can we sell off? A Brock's Cleaner Ashtray. Uh, Lamo Mac and Cheese. Basically worth it. Worthless. Uh, buff of Detergent. Buff out we're going to hang on to. Chinese Pistol will... Maybe hang on to? I want to repair it and see how that looks. Combat shotgun, we will get rid of the cunt, crunchy my fruits. Fancy lad snack cakes can go. Wanna bits can go. We can get rid of one laser pistol. Medical brace, metal kitchen pot. Cola. We'll hang on to that just for the time being. Let's see. Purified water. We can get rid of. That should do it. One cap for us. All right. Good hunting. Take care. It's a big wasteland. But you know that better than me, right? All right, time to turn to a ghoul for the sake of science. Thy Wiz says I watched Wolf play a bunch a while back. Was that Fallout New Vegas, uh, Wiz? Usagi says I'm back. Did I miss something? I just completed the first uh, quest in, for Moira Brown, looting some food and some medical supplies from Super Duper Mart, Usagi. And now I've been given a second mission to basically turn into a ghoul here. I need to irradiate myself. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Pick up some rats. Easy to do. We'll just sit here. Shall exist no longer. It shall be Two rats per second. Let's take a look at my stats. Uh, how do I check my radiation? All right, that's where I am. Burn from you in the fire New Vegas, gotcha. Fire Force says, I know it's early in the game, but Moira is my favorite so far. Yeah, she's a great character, Fire Force. I agree. From the mass of our wretched and filthy bodies. See how we're doing in terms of picking up our radiation here. Uh, 44. So we got, we got a ways to go. Let's hang out here for a while. So I can say, have fun with that. It's quicker if you drink some water. Ah. I don't have any dirty water on me, unfortunately, Usagi. I only got purified water. Sure, you should pick it up soon enough. I'm about 100 rats. We can uh, go around and check these guys out. Oh, one radiation, two. That's what we want. Guide me to your brilliance. Divide each particle and give relief. <laughs> Wiz says, enjoy your tan, bro. <laughs> oh, scoop it up. Ah. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Let's see, how are we? 174. Your radiation poisoning. Visit the doctor, take rat away, or lower your radiation level. You can also protect yourself ahead of time by taking rat X, which increases. Your radiation resistance. Alright, I I got minor radiation sickness at this point. 224. For science. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye shall be blind with his Hopefully. Every ear shall be stricken death 
Let's take a look how we're doing in terms of radiation. 372. So we're catching up to 600. Come forth. The radiation level has increased. We are now sick with advanced radiation poisoning. Alright, 449. And how are we doing? 502? Almost there. This ancient weapon of war is our salvation. It is the very symbol of Adam's glory. Let it serve. Adventurers, to join me in welcoming Drake of the Wyvern Slayer and our good friend Gon Soulfire. Your radiation level has increased. You are now critically rad poisoned. Alright, that's it. Gon says, for watching now, and <laughs> I need four thumbs up. <laughs> I appreciate that, Gon. Good to have you here. It's been a while since you've uh, caught a stream live. Gon, you've been missed with uh, Fireforge. Myself and the rest of the adventuring party in uh, both Baldur's Gate 2 and Rogue Trader. I hope you're able to make the next one. Is that yours? Uh oh. What time is it? Oh no. Let's wait and hope we don't die. 10 17, 12 17, 1. All right. Can I do for you, Daddy O? All right, Moira. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm about as irradiated as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. I can tell you're positively glowing. Now just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Say two. Tired to be snide. You're a lucky one, you know. At this level, most people don't make it. But then again, most people don't have my experimental tricks. And now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had the chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Oh, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay. A little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Oh, interesting. Rad radiation perk added. Moira's experiment had an unexpected side effect. Now, when you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. That's not too bad. I'll take that. All right. I'm going to say, let's finish up the chapter with that landmine research. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? I'm going to say... I'll head into the minefield. Wish me luck. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. All right, there we go. We got our next uh, quest here. Uh, can you repair my equipment? If you've got the caps, I've got the skill. Let's go ahead and repair the Chinese pistol. All right, um, done. And then let's go ahead and see what they have for sale. Sure thing. 325 caps. Whoa, that cost a lot. Okay. But that's no problem. We can, we can offload what we need. Get all that. 
Raider Blaster Armor, Raider Sadist Armor, Scrap Metal. Uh, what else? Silenced 10 liter pistol. We'll hang on to that. Wonder Glue. Really? That's it? That's a little disappointing. Get rid of the laser pistol. We're not going to be using that anytime soon. I don't think. Um, sure. All right, that sounds good. Good hunting. I have to go now. Have fun out there, okay? All right, thank you. Uh, let's take a look at the pistol. Hell of a day, isn't it? Is this a semi-automatic pistol? 293. Okay. Let's compare that to 10 millimeter. 7 damage. Yeah. Still, still a lot better. The 10 millimeter. Um, let's go ahead and sell the Chinese pistol. Warrior Brown. How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. And hot because they, um, explode. That's, anyway, what's up? It's a terrible joke. Um. Alright. I haven't been to a, to Minefield yet. Hold on. It's not just because they say the place is haunted, is it? Because that's no reason to avoid the place. Ghosts don't exist. But landmines do. Oh boy, do they. And that's what we need to study. Alright. Um, see what you have for sale. Sure thing. Regret repairing the, uh, ch the Chinese pistol. Maybe we'll hang on to it just for, just for now. Have fun out there, okay? All right, all right, all right. So let's take a look at the map and see where we're headed to next. Whoa, that's the minefield? Heck no. Let's take a look at our quests. Um, local flavor, blood ties. And let's take a look at the world map. That's going to take us over there. Let's go there first. So do I have a waypoint that I can use? Let's see. Yeah, we can go to Vault 101. It'll save us a little bit of time. Okay. Take a look. And let's get going, adventures. The Wasteland awaits. Not gonna be able to get around there, I think. Let's, let's hit the road. The entrance to Vault 101 behind us. Got the feeling we're gonna run into some nasties here in the wastes. do this. God says, I got the feeling you're going to die horribly. Sips coffee. Thanks for the vote of confidence, God Soulfire. Probably not wrong. This is the wasteland after all. Heard a blast somewhere. Mole rat.
Enclave radio, huh? There it is. Alright, we got this. Switch up our weapons. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Wait until you can see the whites of their eyes. And you blow up their blow off their head. Alright. Let's keep on pushing on here, adventurers. You don't got too much in the way of ammo for the uh, combat shotgun. Let's switch up to the assault rifle. A little bit better on ammo. In fact, I probably have the most ammo with the uh, 10 millimeter pistol, so we'll switch over to that for the time being. Should be sufficient for mole rats. trouble up ahead. Oh, we got hostiles. Hmm. No good shots. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, this is going to work out. Gotcha! Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! There, they're shooting us from there. Move, move, move. Move, move, move. Doesn't look good. There we go. God says, uh oh, hold on one second. What's that? Whoa! I did like that. I like this more. Right, let's go ahead and grab all the good stuff. Let's loot and scoot. 
Lamb of mac and cheese. Let's, let's take a look and see what these raiders had here in this little outpost of theirs. Motorcycle handbrake, paint gun, motorcycle gas tank. Sure, we'll pick up that. Good vendor loot. They do save ammo, that's for sure. As soon as I put more points into melee uh, gun, I'll probably be trying to make better use of um, that tactic. I'd say I did a pretty good job taking care of these raiders. Dog meat. Yum. What about here? Alright, we got two raiders. There we go. And I shot one raider up on the bridge here. So I say stim packs on the bed. I missed it. Gotcha. I'll go back and, and grab them, Sagi. Don say just swing in real time uh, and back up if low on ammo. Gotcha. Good tip. Good tip there, Gone. Oh, we're encumbered. So let's put something back here. Sounds good. Exit. Whoa, 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 oh my gosh. Oh, whoa, 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 Gotcha. God damn it. Move, move, move. Move, 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 move. Move, 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 move. Go ahead. Get another stim pack. Let's not fight them out there. Let's get them in a better situation here. There we go. Pack. Gotcha. How rude. How rude of these guys to interrupt me. Wait, they did. Drop save. See where are we? Can we put down a waypoint here? Not discovered this location yet. Oh, we're here at uh, Kylene's bed and breakfast. Okay, so this is actually a waypoint of some sort. All right, let's see if Yunsagi was uh, right about stim packs. I did check the bed here. It didn't say anything like it. That Talon mercenary ambush was something else. That went from about 5 to 10. 
5 to 11 real quick. Okay, we're good here. Let's head back to Megaton and sell. Ouch. Ouch, your mama. Let's see if there's any traders out here. Yay! Traders! Hey, Crow. Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. I'm going to say, tell me about your trade caravan. My caravan sells clothing and armor to decorate and protect the body while it endures the ravages of the physical world. My travels take me from Canterbury Commons to where there is true need of this protection. After all, this is what they'll pay the most for. All right. I'm going to say I'm here to buy. Have a look. See if anything calls woo. out. Woo, woo, woo. That was, that was something else. You can sell off this assault rifle. Sure. Blammo mac and cheese. Brass knuckles. You know what? We'll sell both of the Chinese pistols. I don't see myself using them anytime soon. Ooh, we got a flamer. Nice. Flamer fuel. Our first uh, big gun. Hunting rifle can go. It's like... Gas tank can go. Do they have stim packs? They have combat armor. They got a combat helmet. What am I wearing in the way of uh two? It's taking a beating. And then, as far as armor is concerned, what am I wearing? Eleven versus eighteen. That's a nice upgrade for us. How much does one cost? Twenty-eight caps. Sure, you do that. And uh, what else can we get rid of? Tank gun. Pack of cigarettes. Get rid of the Raider Badlands armor here. That looks good. Let's go ahead and accept that. Give me a shout if you need anything else. I have to go now. Walk well, friend. All right, let's go and try on that combat armor that we just picked up. Arrow. Cool. Jet just wore off. Let's enter back into Megaton. And every eye shall be blind with his glory. And we are heading this a ways. How are we doing in terms of XP? Level 3. Almost. Almost level 4. Is there a place I can stash excess equipment, uh, Yunsagi? Talk to Moira. How are those hot little potatoes? Or whatever. You know what I mean. Alright, um... I haven't been to the minefield it's yet. It's not just because they say the place is haunted, is it? Because that's no reason to avoid the place. Ghosts don't exist. But landmines... Okay, we've been through that before. Let's go ahead and see what they have for sale. What do you need? Alright, let's pick up some 10 millimeter. Yep. Uh, we have as much 5.56 as we can get from her. That's fine. Oh, she also sells combat armor now. Cool. Let's go ahead and uh, sell off 
Our Raider armor. Salisbury steaks. Let's see, what else do we have here? Armored vault jumpsuit. Yeah, we can go ahead. Energy weapons. Small guns plus five. Energy weapons plus five. Interesting. But not worth it, I think, to hang on to. So we can go ahead and sell that. But it is kind of like sentimental, right? So maybe I want to hang on to it for that reason. Yeah, if uh, Gon or Yunsagi, you know where I can store stuff, that would be amazing. Because I am running into a situation here where I kind of need to look into that. Because I'm starting to hoard here like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm defaulting to uh, my natural hoarding habits here. Go ahead and accept that. Good hunting. All right, I have to go now. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Take a look at my weight. 125. That's not too bad. Okay, let's head back out back to Kylene's bed and breakfast ventures please join me in welcoming Bradley to the wyvern's lair saying are you using mods I am not this is vanilla Bradley We've got some interesting items off those guys let's take a look at them Talon combat armor it's really banged up, though. I wonder if you would repair it, what it would look like. Okay. Oh, we're encumbered. So, yeah, does anyone know... Um, how to... How to store stuff? Like, can I store random items out in the world without it disappearing? Like, can I make this like a little halfway, like a safe house for myself? Or is that not a thing? Zagi got soul fire. Anyone who might have some information for me would be very welcome. All right, let's head back out to Megaton. Like Wiz says, the only time I would not hoard would be if I were bleeding to death. And even then, maybe. <laughs> Adventures to join me welcoming our good friend of the Wyverns, their fellow content creator, Lemon Pledge. Good to have you here, Lemon Pledge. Saying you're a safe house. It's true. I am. I am big as a house these days, Lemon. LP. LP in his house. Uh, Gone Soulfire says, the empty house in Megaton, I use containers. Ah. I guess I could use Lucas Sims' house because, you know, uh, he's not there anymore. Huh. Did you know the human... Alright, we've seen that before. Uh, let me see what you sale. Sure thing. Let's see. Assault rifle, yes. Chinese pistol can go. Hang on to the combat shotgun. Hunting rifle can go. Two laser pistols can go. Pork and beans, pack of cigarettes. Tesla combat armor. Whoa, that's a lot of caps for ourselves. Sure, we'll go ahead and accept that. Okay. You can tell you say the right sequence for that quest is talk to the guy in Moriarty's bar, talk to the sheriff about that, then go with the sheriff to kill that guy. Afterwards, the sheriff gives you the key. Good hunting! 
Have fun out there, okay? So, which house is this, Yunsagi? Because I actually did get a key off the body of the sheriff. Let's see if I can find Lucas Sims' house. This lock cannot be picked. It requires a key to open. Oh, okay. I wonder if Lucas Sims has... Has the, uh... The key to the, to the house here. Let's see. All right. This is all considered stealing. Let's talk to Harden Sims. Dad used to say... Never mind. Okay, I have to go now. Sorry. Okay, let's see if we can find that uh that key here. Refrigerator. Shack door. Yunsagi, do you know how if I can still obtain the key to that house if Lucas Sims is killed? A bobblehead of strength? Heck yeah, we're going to take that. You found a vault -Tec limited edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, it's essential to give your arguments impact. Your strength has been permanently increased by one. Okay, so we got the bobblehead here. Let's take a look at the... Uh Lockers. Bobby says, do you have stuttering in your game? No, I do not. Is, is anyone having issues with this, the uh, stream quality? Hmm. What the heck? Empty suitcase. Yeah, you talk, if you can look that up for me real quick, that'd be amazing. Let's see, hunting rifle. Stream is solid, good, glad to hear it. Because I very much need a player home at this point. No sign of anything like a key so far. Here in Lucas Sims' house. Take a look at these lockers one last time. I guess I still need to deactivate the bomb, maybe, to get a reward from Hardened Sims? In the way of the player home? Anyway, let's take a look at my weight right now. 151, it's not good. You know what, we're just going to sell it. Forget sentimental value. It needs to go. I absolutely need the uh, space here. Well, actually, let's, let's head back out to Kylie's bed and breakfast. So I says you have to deactivate the bomb. Okay, take that. I would say, sell it, you monster. <laughs> All right, so let's head back down here and clean up, clean up this mess. There we go. What the heck? Oh, whoa! Ah! 
shit. Really? Surviving little scumbag, huh? How much do we have in the way of, uh... Rounds here. Not much. Jet to the assault rifle. Actually, we could, if we wanted to. Oh, I don't have the, uh, the melee weapon with me. Okay. I want this oh! Come back. Gotcha. Raider go. Gotcha. Thank you, Yinsagi. Take the 5.56. Five, Take the assault rifle. Pack of cigarettes. Wine. Leave the combat talent armor here. Okay, I need to deactivate that damn bomb. Back to Megaton. Do you have any idea of what kind of skill a level I need to deactivate the bomb, Yunsagi? Explosives 13. Dang. Eleven forty nine, let's wait, yeah, several hours. Can I go in now? Nope. Wait two more hours. Oh. Wait two more hours, that should do it. What? Alright, Moira. How are those hot little potatoes? Adventures, please join me in welcoming Bathal to the Wyverns Lair. Good to have you here, Bathal. We're back in the capital wasteland of Fallout 3. It's not just because they say the place is haunted, is it? Because that's no reason... Bradley says, I was only asking if you have stuttering because when I was playing, I was getting a lot of frames dropping. No, it's been pretty good for me. Bathal, the OG, that's right. Let's see what you have to say. What do you need? Lots of OGs here at the Wyverns Lair this, uh... This afternoon we got Fire Forge, we got Gon, Yutsagi. Combat knife, we can go ahead and sell. We maybe want to hang on to that for one melee weapon. Man, all those sweet, sweet rounds. Let's get some stim packs here. Let's get two stim packs. And let's go ahead and sell off. This stuff here that I'm just not going to use again. Armored Vault 101 jumpsuit. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Um, let's get a few more stim packs here. 77. Can't have enough stim packs if you ask me. Get rid of the assault rifle. Yeah, we'll get rid of the combat knife too. Flamer, we'll get rid of that. We don't, we're not going to use that weapon anytime soon. Junk, we can go. Pack of cigarettes can go. Throw on a stick and go. That can go too. We'll go ahead and accept that. Good All hunting. Right. Uh, can you repair my equipment? If you've got the caps, I've got the skill. See, Talon Combat Armor, 134 caps to repair. It's going to give me a DR of 18. Interesting. Okay. Done. We're not going to. We're not going to repair the uh, Combat Armor. I have to go now. Take care. It's a big wasteland, but you know that better than me, right? So I can say it's 25 in explosives you need. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Back out to the Wasteland Adventures.
Back to Kylene's bed and breakfast. Dang damn it. It's all coming with me. It's all coming with me here. It's finally all cleaned up. At the beginning of your uh, adventures in Fallout 3, every cap counts. Every cap counts. Let's see if there's, we got a trader out here. Nope, oh, no trader. Make our way back over here. All right, Myra. Hey, don't mind the smell. I was just testing a few chemicals, but it's perfectly safe to breathe. Really. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see what you have to say. What sale. do you need? Uh, Bradley says, you remind me of the streamers I like to watch named the Rad Brad. I think I've heard that before, uh, Bradley. Someone else has compared me to the, uh, the Rad Brad. I appreciate it. I always, uh, you know, to be compared to a larger streamer I find is always a compliment. Can I ask what it is about the, you know, what I bring here that reminds you of Rad Brad? Let's, uh, go through here. Uh, what are we going to buy? What are we going to buy? So we could buy that stim pack. Sure. Oh. Good hunting. Good luck I'll take with that, that research. Yutsagi says, I watched the Rad Brad a long time ago. Okay, let's get moving. Finally. Drop a save before I forget. There we go. Bradley says, the way you commentary. Oh, I I personally, you know, in, in the moment, I feel like I ramble. So, hopefully that's a compliment. If uh, the Rad Brad has... What do we have here? Brotherhood Outcast. Interesting. No time to talk to your type, local. Huh. Move along, please. Why don't you go bother the Brotherhood or something? Ooh, I kind of want to follow these guys and see what happens. Good to see you. Let's let's follow this little patrol for a little while. Move along, please. I'm kind of curious to see what may happen. Homemade says he comments very well. Okay, thanks, thanks. Uh, thank you uh, for the compliment there, uh, Bradley. I appreciate it. So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna follow the this. Uh, Patrol of Brotherhood Outcasts. See if they get into a fight. And then maybe we can take their armor from them? I don't want to fight them. They seem way out of scope for myself. Currently where I'm at. Good to see you. Would be cool to pick up some, you know, power armor this early in the game.
Power Armor in Fallout 3 is not the uh, the game changing event that it is in the first two Fallouts. In Fallout 1 and Fallout 3, Power Armor gave a significant boost to your character. Oh man, if only these Talon mercenaries were still around. I'm curious. I am really curious about what would happen if we just kept on following this patrol. I mean, it, it could be a long while before they run into anything that, you know, poses any danger to them whatsoever. It could be, it could be a really long time. So we'll just let's let, let them go and do their thing. We'll push off to Arafu. Blood ties delivering this letter for Lucy Davis from Megaton. The Adventures of Captain Cosmos. One of the blasted highways left over from Armageddon here in Washington, D.C. Take a look. Glad I did. Our few dead ahead. Adventures, please join me in welcoming our good friend and fellow content creator, the Finman Gaming say good evening. How's it going, Finman? So, oh, hey, oh, hey! So good to have you here, Finman. Vicious dog. Come from. Sheesh. And uh, what's happening on your channels these days, Finman? I really, I tip my hat to you for soldiering on through the Gold Box series, the uh, Forgotten Realms Gold Box series. Those are not some easy games to play. Okay, I think we've arrived at Arafu. Arafu next exit. It's a great view of the uh, capital wasteland below us. Evan King. Okay. Not hostile. You've discovered several locations. You can fast travel back to discovered locations using the world map in your Pip Boy. Cool. Oh my god! Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Get over here before they spot you. That <laughs> made me jump IRL. <laughs> Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? I'm gonna say... Who did you think I was? I thought you were one of the family. They're some low-life gangers who've been giving us a hell of a lot of trouble lately. They're the reason for my itchy trigger finger. I'm say, are they raiders or slavers? No way. If they were, you'd be staring at a burned-out ghost town. I think the family are just a bunch of punks. Well, at first, they do typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know? I say, why don't you fight back? Yeah, sure. I'll just go and take all of them out by myself. What are you, crazy? As soon as they roll into town, I lock my doors just like everyone else. We could really use some assistance here. I'd be glad to help. What do you need? I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. I have a message for the West family from their daughter. I can't take that. 
You're just going to have to bring it to the West yourself. Can you tell me more about what's going on around here? There used to be more families living here. Most of them have dismantled their shacks and moved on to greener pastures. Those that are still living here are keeping themselves indoors, thanks to the family. Where do you think I can find the family? I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. All right, we got a map, map, map marker added. I have to go now. Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. I think King almost uh, blew us to kingdom come. Uh, the G Finman say channel's okay. Gold box is fun to do, but very frustrating. I'm going to do the Crin series too, but need to do something else first. Uh, what do you have planned for your channel? And uh, the Gold Box Crin series are a real delight. Um, a little less, far less frustrating, I think, than the Forgotten Realms Gold Box games. Good to have you here on the channel as we play Fallout 3. And yes, Fallout 3 is a great game, Hitman. I look forward to you playing it on your channel. Alright, so let's, uh, let's see what we got. But still, still blood ties, okay. So we'll, we'll continue, I guess, with our current waypoints. Evan King's house. Open door to West Residence. Whoa. This isn't good. Davis West? The bodies of the West have bite marks in the neck area that go to the bone. Matilda West? There's nothing else in the corpse to indicate what happened. Oh my goodness. This is wild. Fireforge says, did I hear Kryn? You did indeed. Vivian Gaming here has been playing the uh, original Gold Box games from SSI. Just completed the Forgotten Realm quadrilogy, if you will. That's scary. Scary stuff they have here. Door to Shenzi residence requires key. Alright. Check the Ewers residence, check the Shenzi residence. Okay. Keep on going. It's interesting that they built their, their town uh, atop this uh, Ruined highway. Finman Gaming says no big plans. Been concentrating on Twitch lately. Oh, what are you doing on Twitch, uh, Finman? You were resident. Required the key. The door to the Ur's house is locked. We can knock on the door. Hello, is this the mailman? Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. I'm gonna say. Huh? What are you talking about? I've even even King sent me. Oh, he Evan, brought. he's such a gentleman. Please do come inside. Let me unlock the door for you. All right. What the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck out. I'm gonna say your wife let me in. Something about a catalog. Oh, for the love of... Look, she's dumber than a bag of hammers, okay? If you want to talk to anyone, you need to talk to me. So what the fuck do you want? I'm gonna say... Even King told me to check on you. Is everything okay? We're great. Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take action. You know the West are dead. Son of a bitch. I knew the family were going to cross the line. It was only a matter of time. Maybe it's time I cut my losses and ran. But it just isn't fair. I made my home here. Why should I have to leave? 
say, so what's your take on even King? Well, he's town mayor or sheriff uh, or whatever he calls himself. He calls all the shots. When he says to get the heck indoors and stay put, we do that. What do you think about the family? They're low-life scum who decided to use Arafu as their own personal amusement park. Oh, they're a fun bunch. I'd take a shot at them if I could, but judging from what they did to the Brahmin, I wouldn't live long to tell about it. Hmm. Can you tell me more about what's been going on around here? Everyone is keeping themselves safe from the family. If I was you, I'd do the same. You want to know more? Talk to Evan King. Good. Now get out. Vivian says he's been streaming a lot there. Dwarf Fortress, Project Zombioid, Victoria, etc. Ah! Good stuff, Inman. You're not uh, dual streaming to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time? Really, e worse. You must be exhausted from all that walking in this horrible heat. Oh, and hungry too. Sit, please. Braley Ewers is the name. Don't mind my husband, Kenneth. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. I'm gonna say, did you know the West are dead? Dead tired, I bet, from the square dance in the barn last night. What a time we had. She's crazy. Yvonne King told me to check on you. Is everything okay? Oh, he's such a dear. I must remember to make more of those preserves he loves so much. Tell me more about what's been going on around here. Oh my, I don't know. Mrs. West is probably whipping up a batch of her famous cookies. And all the kids are playing in the yards. It's so nice outside. The grass looks lovely this time of year. I'm going to say, um, okay. You do know there was a war 200 years ago, right? Well, I must speak to my husband about that. We could bring it up at the next Homeowners Association meeting. Ah, oh, I do love meetings so much. I think I'll bring muffins. All right. Braley's definitely batshit insane. Bimit says, do you have any big plans? You have almost 1,000 subs. I know, it only took me several years to get there, Bimit. Uh, I, I, in all honesty, I do appreciate the support. And I am, I'm thrilled to see that the channel is growing. Slowly as it is. Means I'm doing something right. Okay, we've been to the West Residence already. Let's go ahead and see if we can check here on the uh, last family. The Shenzi family. Go ahead and knock on Karen's door. Yes. Who is it? Yvonne King sent me. Can I come in? Oh, he did? Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. The name's Karen Shenzi. Say, did you know the West are dead? What? Oh my god! King has to do something about this now. Tell him to get off his ass and hunt those bastards down. Yvonne King told me to check on you. Is everything okay? Scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. So what's your take on Yvonne King? He's a spineless wimp. His best solution to the family is to stay inside our homes and hide. What does that tell them? It tells them that we can be pushed around whenever they want. I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of King. What do you think about the family? All they do is terrorize us. They taunt us to open our doors, throw bottles at our houses, and scream at us. If I knew King had my back, I'd step outside and show them just how I feel about their visits. Especially after this last attack. Can you tell me more about what's going on around here? We're scared shitless. Evan King's got everyone so worked up about the family, no one wants to set foot outside. That asshole runs the show. But does he really do anything about our problem? No. All right, I have to go now. Sure, go. Just like everyone else. Okay. Let's go and talk to Yvonne here. Bidman says, I did dual stream for a while. Felt like I didn't really focus on either platform. Also, I had way less views, viewers on YouTube. Decided to put more eggs on Twitch. It does seem like it's hard to 
to uh, pick up okay? viewers on YouTube compared to Twitch these days, Finman. What did they tell you? Everyone okay? You know the West are dead. The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it! If only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. Wait a minute. When you searched the West's place, did you find their son Ian's body? No, I only found the parents' bodies. This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weirdo leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. Don't worry, Yvonne. I'll figure out what happened to the Wests. Thanks, kid. You're all right. The Wests had bite marks on their necks. Mean anything to you? Bite marks on their necks? That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. The family must have attack dogs with them or something. Oh, this is all I needed right now. What am I going to do? They'll keep coming back until all of us are dead. I have a message for the West family from their daughter. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it back to Lucy or to Ian if you can find him. All right, I have to go now. Next time I see the family, there's going to be hell to pay. Yeah, let's take a look at our world map. Okay, family. We got three possible places to find them. So let's set your marker there. Start with the closest uh, point to us. Finman says, yeah, it's hard to stream on YouTube. I'm trying to figure out a way to kind of connect Twitch and Tube. Not sure the, how, though. Maybe make tutorial videos about games I stream in Twitch or something. I think that might be the way to do it, Finman. Um, the way to grow on YouTube is definitely not through streaming. It's through helpful content, guides, previews, reviews what you're thinking of doing for YouTube, that's really sort of the way to grow a YouTube channel um, from all the evidence that I've seen and all the advice I've heard from larger content creators. I always say, I've always wanted to give uh, Dwarf Fortress a go. Yeah, great story about that game too. We that's definitely instant death for ourselves, so let's, let's head back this way. Maybe we can use the West's um, the temporary safe house for ourselves. Nope. This is the West residence here. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep for eight hours. Fourteen hours. How, what is your viewer count looking like on uh, Twitch, Finman, out of curiosity? All right. Finman says, it's a fun game. Not very easy, though. I've, I have played almost 300 hours, and I'm still clueless about stuff. Yeah, it's a very fun, deep game. Crazy to think that it's... Uh, largely been the uh, project of two two brothers Please tell me you found something. for much of its history. Alright, adventuring we go. There's the dead Brahmin that they were talking about earlier. Looks like we have a, a merchant here. What do we have here? Got some junk to unload? Crazy, I'm buying. Crazy Wolfgang. Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's traveling junk store. The depot of detritus, the shop of slop, and the caravan of crap. Now, what odds and ends can I, the craziest of all possible Wolfgangs, offer to you? Say, tell me about your trade caravan. I scour the wasteland for the very best pieces of trash, the height of detritus, and the veritable pick of the litter. It's all valuable to someone. And I always make sure to make my rounds through Canterbury Commons. Their mayor, Roe, always has a place for a clever junk man like myself. Hmm. I 
I'm here to buy. Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need. Assuming you need the random junk that I've got. Alright, let's see what, what, what do we have here to trade. Talent combat armor. Sure, we can go ahead and trade that, I guess. Wine. Charisma plus one, strength plus one. Sure. 28 caps. Okay. We'll do it. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Uh, I have to go now. See you out on the road, huh? Thanks, Crazy Wolf Gang. All right, let's take a look at what happened here. Rotting Brahmin Courts. Okay. Boarded up. Is there a way inside? I don't think there is. No. All right. Um. Let the Moonbeam Cinema first. Drop the save while we're at it. Raiders. Melee Raiders. Take care of this guy first. Quickly sell that off. Bradley says, if you watched the Fallout show, the first episode, Bradley, I, I caught it with uh, several members of the uh, Wyvern's Layer community on our Discord. Um, I'm actually going to be streaming episodes 2 and 3 at the on the Wyvern's Layer Discord later this evening, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. For those who might want to catch it with myself and the rest of the adventurers. Wish you had some ammo. A friend with deep pockets is a friend indeed. Welcome to my shop. All right, time here to buy. Nothing but the highest quality leftovers, junk, and crap. All right, so let's get rid of these baseball bats. And... Fine, I think that does it. 48 caps, excellent. Give me a shout if you need anything else. See you out on the road, huh? All right, 640 caps. We're rich. Still haven't gained that level, have we? We check this pier here. Oh, that isn't good. Whatever that thing is, looks ugly. Fire lurk. Sure.
vicious little thing. Oh, we have a lot more of these guys. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We're not going down there. That's going to be bad news for ourselves. Alright. Let's switch out to our combat assault rifle. And my alerts. Yay! You level up! Adventurers, please join me in welcoming Mr. Sweat to the Wyvern's Lair. Gain a level. Hey, what happened to our level up? I could have sworn we gained a level. save. That's weird. We didn't get a level up screen yet. John says, I've seen that before. Oh, there we go. Finally. Yeesh. Level four. Put those points into small guns. Continue. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, put in one more for uh, Swift Learner. Done. Take a look at my perks. Swift Learner three. Cool. 30% additional experience, that's going to be good in the long term for ourselves. Allow us to level up faster. Vimmy Gamer says, I need to go to bed now, soon midnight over here. Just want to pop in and say hi, adventurers. Please join me in wishing our fellow adventure content creator friend, Finman Gaming, a Wyvern's Lair farewell. Thank you for dropping by, Finman. All right. We got here. Sort of junkyard. All right, destroyed book. Pugilism, Pugilism Illustrated. Pick that up. Always pays to search around. You know, you never know what you might find here in the wasteland. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, aid. Miscellaneous. Pugilism Illustrated. There we go. Unarmed increased by one. Discovered Moonbeam Outdoor Cinema. Toy Cars. Teddy Bear. Camera. Shooting at me. Super Mutant. That can't be good. How should we do this? Oh no. We've got a couple of these super mutants coming our way. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Mine here. Oh my gosh! Oh. Another fucking mile work? Really? And stupid mine did not work. Take 
take care of this guy. Come on, sir. Super easy down. Yeah. You become addic addicted to a drug. Take more of the drug to alleviate the side effects or visit a doctor to be cured. Okay. We'll leave you alone. Come on. Come on. There we go. That worked. Oh no. Oh no. This guy. Okay. Weapons. Oh. Oh. oh my god, really? Healing limbs. In order to heal a crippled limb, you have three choices. Sleep in a bed, find a doctor, or use a stim pack to heal yourself. Stim packs can be used for general healing. Or they can be applied directly to a limb to heal crippled, crippling damage. To heal crippled limb directly using a stim pack, navigate to the stat screen your pip boy, then lift click on a limb to use the stim pack on that limb. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go to aid, stats, status, effects, condition, crippled. There we go. We use the stim pack to heal that up. Let's go back to aid. Just use that generally. I'm not doing enough damage with um that. Oh my god, really? Freaking What the heck? What the Jesus. That was quite the circus. Jesus. We had Myrlurks, we had Super Mutants. There was a lot going on in that combat. Got to use my frag mines though. Okay, let's go ahead and drop a save. Sheesh Louise. Insagi save everybody wants you clearly. Clearly, Insagi. Back to Megaton. Bradley says, did you have to adjust any settings before playing? Nope. Nope, right out of the box. Didn't adjust anything. Why? Is your play experience a little different than mine? Alright, Moira. How are those hot little potatoes? Or whatever. You know what I mean. Alright. Uh, I've been to the minefield. It's... Let me see if for sale. Sure thing. Alright. So, let's go ahead and Sell the carton of cigarettes. Actually, cancel transaction, yes. I just realized. Probably. Probably could actually sell all this stuff off to the trader who's over this way. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Arafu. Board and Flash Memorial. Yeah, let's travel there. Trader should still be there, I think. Hmm, 
Maybe not. No sign of the trader. So, in fact, we do have to go to Megaton. Alright. You're suffering from jet withdrawal. Can't be good. We have a trader here. We do. Well, we have Crazy Wolfgang. Hey, hey, looking to buy? Always. To buy. Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need. Assuming okay. you need the random junk that I've got. Sell the ant meat, cart of cigarettes, dog meat, hunting rifle, mire lurk meat, mole rat meat, rad roach meat. That looks good. Another satisfied customer. All right. I have to go now. Good luck out there. And maybe the next time, you'll find something interesting for me, huh? Okay. Take a look at my uh, skills here. A penalty to my barter. Take it, son. Friendliest down all round. Go and take care of that addiction. Clinic. Doc Church. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. All right. I think I might be addicted to something. I thought you had the look about you. Sure, I can help you, but it's not free. Fifty caps, take it or leave it. All right, yes, cure me. All right. I got some of this pre-war stuff. Should flush your system right out. All right, there we go. All better now, you big baby. Can I get back to work now? All right, that's all I needed. All right, then. Perfect. That should have taken care of my addiction. Status. Condition seems like... Should be good. All right. Women and children of the earth, come forth to gather and behold. Let's go and pick up some uh, ammunition for that minigun. Hey, Myra. How are those hot little potatoes? It's in minefield it's yet. Prepare my equipment. Where is the minigun? Damage plus two. Not too bad. Yeah, we'll take that repair. Cost 219. That's a lot of caps. For only a marginal boost in damage. Uh, nah. Done. I don't want to spend all that cap on, on repairing the minigun. Um... See what you're for sale. What do you need? I don't know what type of ammo the minigun takes. What do you Sorry. Let's go now. See ya. Yep. Take a look. Items, weapons, minigun. 5mm. Okay. Hey, don't mind the smell. I was just testing a few chemicals. But it's perfectly safe to breathe. Really. <laughs> All right. Let me see what you sell. Absolutely. Pick up some of that sweet 5mm. 247 caps. 
That's a lot of cats. Uh, wasteland doctor fatigues. Wasteland surgeon outfit. Yeah, let's go ahead and sell this. We're not gonna, we're not gonna be using that anytime soon. Anything here that I might want to get rid of? Combat shotgun. Nope, I think that's good. Sure. Good hunting. I have to go now. Come back soon. All right, let's get out of here. Fast travel to this location. Ah. We got the fast travel now. Yep. Alright, before we were so rudely interrupted by everything. Take part of cigarettes, pack of cigarettes. It's an outdoor cinema? I guess it is. I guess this is exactly what it was, the Moonbeam Cinema here. Okay, no sign of the family. Barbecue grills, I like it. All right, we'll check out Hamilton Tideway next. Adventure, please join me in welcoming Thomas Finch to the Wyvern's Lair. As we play Fallout 3, good to have you here, Thomas. Scenic Overlook. Is there a way over? This gives us a little land bridge to make use of. Great battle against the Mirelurks and Super Mutants. Got a ship that's been uh, tossed ashore here in the uh, nuclear Armageddon that created the Capital Wasteland. Empty. No lock picking skill to get through. 308. That's it. Go ahead and drop a save. We have here metal boxes. Totally missed our waypoint. Couple of... Oh, hey. Oh, hey, hey, hey.
Alright, go to the Super Mutant. That nail board. Hmm. Hamilton's hideaway. Discovered Hamilton's hideaway. Running low on combat shells. Oh, this isn't om ominous at all. I'm gonna go ahead and drop save. Not terrifying at all. Well, that's not good. Speaking of rad scorpions. Sheesh. Really? One. Damn it. Fire horses, now you know where I went. Yeah, this is not good. I did not just drop it, did I? Yeah. What? Move! Stop! Oh my god. Damn it. Get wrecked. Fireboard says, uh, and I didn't explore as much as you, so I'm not well armed. I'm hardly well armed too, Fireforge. I, I'm, I'm really not prepared. I think for, for this area, I'm just gonna look for my rifle and, and head out of here. I'm, I'm lost. As is tradition. Okay, that's where I fled to. I think my rifle's somewhere here. Yeah, I was retreated and dropped it somewhere here. There it is. Sheesh. Yeah, let's not go further in, shall we? Yeah, we're heading out. I don't think the family's here. 14 shotgun shells left. Nope, no family there. Northwest Seneca Station.
Godsoul Fire Cities, did you enjoy Fallout 4 also, DM? I actually have hardly played Fallout 4, Gone. I figure since uh, Wolfheart's streaming it on his uh, channel, uh, I'll let him... I'll follow his adventures along with Fallout 4. My plan is to work my way from basically Fallout 3 on to Fallout New Vegas and eventually to Fallout 4. Sagi says, uh, God Soul Fire says, Yusagi 1 had some awesome builds going on there. Oh, I'm sure. Yusagi and Saw, for that matter. I think this is where we should be. Northwest Seneca Station. Gouge. Boarded up houses. The Cornucopa Fresh Groceries. Let's go to the grocer and see what we have here. I hear rad brooches. Hi, rad roach. Hi, rad roach. Guy. Can we hope to reach our full potential? President Eaton. The way we were before the war. Whole, beautiful, powerful. One enclave, one America. Now. Go ahead and drop a save. And. Yutsagi says I have the videos of the builds on YouTube. I should check it out, Yutsagi. I'll check it out one of these days. doing in terms of uh, the next level up. we got a ways to go. Oh geez, I have to go down to the station. Oh man. I guess so. Slander. They're not 
hostile. Okay. You're not... not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? I'm gonna say... what secrets? The secret of making Ultra Jet, obviously. Oh, damn it. Now the cat's out of the bag. Typical me. Ultra Jet? That's some sort of super cap? I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. I'm gonna say... Yeah, sure, what do you need? It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. I distill it down to its base contents and add that to the formula, then presto, Ultra Jet. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So, you in? Make it 30 caps each and you got yourself a deal. Nope, it's 15 each. You want to do it or what? All right, Murphy, I'm in. Good. Now get going. I have a ton of preparation to do. All right. Sugar bombing run. Let's see uh, what it says there. And our quests. Interesting. It doesn't show up. Uh, it's the quest entry here. So, what did you bring me? Here's all the sugar bombs I've got. Nice work. The Ultra Jet's coming along nicely. Keep it moving, meat. Pretty body crafts, not bad. So, what did you bring me? I'm gonna say, have you ever heard of the family? Sure. I stay away from them and they don't bother me. It's a good relationship. They live somewhere east of here. If you're feeling foolish, I think there's an underground way through their place, deeper into the metro station here. What's to do with Barrett? He's my assistant and my backup, in case things get rough. I wouldn't mess with him if I were you. Can I buy some Ultra Jet? Yeah, as soon as you bring me some more sugar bombs. Alright, want that Ultra Jet. Yep, do what you gotta do. There is uh, Barrett. Get away from me, smooth skin. All right. I need to be testy. Deeper into the subway. Mole rat. And for that, we can switch over to our 10 millimeter. Here they come. Oh, they're tough buggers. Whoa. Not good. Not good at all. Stim packs, always welcome. Anything of value here? Something's radioactive there. Cola, sure. Let 
Man, these uh these subways are so eerie. Value. Coffee mug, take like that. Sell it. Definitely low on caps. Low on all uh, you know what, Gon, you're not you're not wrong about you need to conserve ammo here. I should buy myself a decent melee weapon. Work on my melee skills. Alright. Yeah, 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 yep, yep, yep. Tick, tick, tick. Is this it? This is the restroom? Ladies, okay, it's, it's definitely not the way. Uh, we have something here we can search, maybe? Nope. Not searchable. It's radioactive fun. That's not the way deeper into the subway. Maybe past uh, our it. friends here. Keep it moving, meat. Nothing there. Missing something? I don't think that there's a way to go any deeper here. That's the bathroom. Alright, that must not be it. Yeah, let's go off and, and offload. Back to Megaton. I need ammo, lots of it. Go and rest. God bless the U.S. Good old Nathan. Hey, Moira. How are those hot little potatoes? All right, I've been to my field it's yet. Not just because they say the place. All right, let's see what, what you have for sale. What do you need? Take all that. Baseball bat. All right, let's go ahead and sell off some stuff, shall we? Be very careful about it. Awesome. Turban Brahmin skin outfit can go. Part cigarettes. Coffee mug. Cram. So all those darts. Let's see what we got here. Frag grenades we can hang on to. Frag mines we can hang on to. Jet. Mole rat meat. Nail board. Yeah. Cigarettes, lunger, three more money, average meat, rat scorpion gland for sure, shot glass, turpentine, whiskey, and wonder glue. You wouldn't have any shotgun shells, would you? Good hunting. Go Good luck with that research. Okay. Let's head back over to what's this? The minefield. Oh, 
Hideaway, Northwest Seneca Station. All right. Set east, east of here. So east we shall go. some of that ammo. Looking, we're on the hut for the family, and uh, hopefully, I'm gonna run across the landmark here soon. I'm gonna drop the safe. Got an RV, city liner. Can't enter it. I got a church ahead. Church. Wasteland can't. Be. That can't be good. Drop save. Not help uh, the captive while in combat. Hmm. Hollowed Moor Cemetery. These gore bags are a telltale sign of super mutants. According to the game, I'm in combat. Help! Rag grenades. I'm over here. Help! I don't see anything. Take a look at this. Me and you can grab that. Grab the combat knife. And you should box. Grab the energy cells. Caliph family transferred two of five. Let's take a look at this. Paul, it's me, Tina. I heard back from my sister Candace. We couldn't get into a vault. 101, 87, didn't matter. All full to capacity. But my brother Alex is a soldier, and he sort of stole the passcode for a secure army bunker. He did it for the family, but they caught him. Before they took him into custody, Alex, he sent us each one number of the four-digit code. That way we all have to be together to get in. 
He gave me number five, the day of my birth. So I guess what I'm saying is I'm still leaving. It's been fun, kind of. Oh, and I'm not pregnant, so no worries. Big book of science, grab that. Small bird book, Let's use that big book of science right away. Data. Aid. Go, science increased by one. Toy car. Grab all that good stuff. Books. Yeah, here. Grenade. Please. Ah, someone. I'm gonna get to you. Dirty water and stim pack. Alright, so you can sell that. Take DC Journal of Internal Medicine. Take a look at that. Data. Items. Medicine increased by one. Excellent. Help me. The supermen have bound the captive for transportation. The ropes are digging into her wrist. She obviously suffered from their abuse. Untie her. I'm I'm alive. I can't believe it. I'm alive. Here, I managed to hide this stuff before they tied me up. You take it. It's the best I can do to thank you. I say, no, you'll meet you'll need it more than I will. You'd know best, wouldn't you? I have to go. Again, thank you. Alright, getting karma, excellent. Take a look at my character. General. Say my karma? Good, defender. Excellent. Adventurers, please join me in welcoming Philosophus Rex back to uh, the Wyvern's Lair here. As you can see, I can't I can't get enough Fallout, Philosophus. You'd know, having put so many hours into this game back in the day. Rex says, I was just watching episode one of the show. It's super good, right? Doesn't it make you want to play Fallout again? If uh, you're not going out later, I hope you join us for episode two and three. What am I doing? Continue. Alright, so we're kind of on track with the family here. We got a one transcript from the family. There seems to be more ground we need to cover. There's a super mutant. One. Let's avoid them. One thing in the early game that uh, I really appreciate is how you're kind of incentivized to avoid co combat almost, Rex, to conserve ammunition and health. Like, taking on those super mutants wouldn't really net me all that very much. I obviously experienced, but I'm really low. Huh. We got a vicious dog coming here. Switch out to my 10 millimeter. Oh my god. Pick it up. Oh wait! There's a bunch. Get up. Run, 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 run. Switch out. Switch out, switch out, switch out. To combat shotguns. Damn it, we don't get really got much ammo at all. We got 240. Okay, we gotta take care of these things. One. Two. Three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a big waste of ammo. God damn it. Ah! Come on, switch out. 
pistol jet. Combat shotgun. Alright. Speaking of ammo. So much for stealthy. You always did a lot of drugs in the early game. I am drugged up too in this playthrough. You and me both. I really didn't like how that encounter went. That was frustrating. That was frustrating. Yeah, I don't like where this is taking me. I am I am not going to pursue this quest any any further. Um location Hollowed Morris Secretary Cemetery, sorry. All right, we'll go east a little bit further. See what happens. Mole rats, okay. I can deal with mole rats. Combat shotguns are a really nice weapon. A lot of killing power. Speaking of. Another mole rat. Tough little things. Rex says, always did the survival guide book quest to start off. Ah. You know what? That's maybe not a bad idea. Now that minefield quest is way, way out in the middle of nowhere. Doing encumbrance. Doing good. Here, blast of some sort. Hit a stim pack for like raiders. Do you like taking on raiders? How are we doing in terms of weight? 186.
There you are, you... Alright, we're ready to head back to Megaton, I think. Freaking blow fly. I am not wasting valuable bullets on that thing. Oh. Silly blow fly. out of here. Back to Megaton. Good to see you. See if we got any merchants outside. Nope, no one here. Wait several hours. Still a few more hours to go before the shops open. We do not. Yep, there we go. More like it. Hot little potatoes, or whatever. You know what I mean. Good. Um. It's not just because they. Right. Okay. Let's see what your sale. Absolutely. How are you doing, Moira? Two hundred thirty-seven caps. Good. Thirty-two pistol can go. Look, fly meat for sure. Clipboard, combat knife, darts, all the darts can go. Dirty water, dog meat. Knife. All rat meat, sure. Oh, these are worthless. No value at all. Pack of cigarettes. That has some value, at least. Higher iron. Alright. And you do not have any shotgun shells, do you? Nope. Okay, take the Good caps. hunting! Alright, I have to go Remember, now. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Alright, back out to the Wild Wasteland. Um, let's head out to Arfu first. Let's use the uh, West Residence to get some rest here. I hope you got some good news tucked away for me. I may. Let's see. Bed here. Sleep for an hour. There we go. All healed up. The Northwest Seneca Station. Now I'm wondering, uh, Philosophist, this is the restroom, and there's no way deeper into the, uh, into the subway system from here. We have our man Murphy here. This leads to a radioactive drain of some sort. 
At least I think it does. Oh wait, no it doesn't. There is a way down into the subway here. Oh, picking up all the rats. Oh, Brahmin! Okay, I think we're right on the right track for the family here. Rotting Brahmin. Okay, that's promising. Oh shit, my, my lurks. I don't want to take on Meyer Lurks right now. Yeah, we're not taking on Meyer Lurks. I don't have the, the weaponry to really get... get past Meyer Lurks. I think we're going to do what you're suggesting, uh, Philosophist, and complete the uh, survival guide book quests to begin with. So we're going to head over here to this minefield. We're going to switch out our quest too. There we go. Hopefully this will take us on a not as dangerous route. Those Marlocks are hard to bring down right now for me. Ah! Adventurers to join me in welcoming Scooby to the Wyvern Slayer saying, Run away! Run away! Run away indeed, Scooby. Sometimes that's what you gotta do in Fallout. Can't shoot your way through every encounter. guys coming up. Uh, let's switch out to yeah, let's, let's use... Oh my god! There's a couple of these things. See if I can use this, uh, this Gatling gun. Yeah, didn't do much. Switch out to my assault rifle. That guy, that guy definitely needs a shotgun treatment. What did you have on you big guy? Hunting rifle. Mailboard. Perfect. Exactly what I didn't need. All right, we'll continue to cut across the wastes here. Halfway there to uh, the minefield. Mm -hmm. 
some kind of ruined town. field as it were check, check from it's coming towards us it is Bad handiwork from that, uh, ten MM. That must be the town. be very careful about this strewn with mines drop a save adventurers please join me in welcoming drake of the wyvern's lair zelkova saying go man go rip tank tank can apart is this your first go at fallout 3 i played fallout 3 years and years ago zelkova um, so this is my second time playing through it, but it's been so long, you know, I hardly remember the game. Good to have you here at the Wyvern's Lair, Zelkova. We're approaching a town that apparently has been thoroughly mined. Discovered the minefield. There. There are the mines. Oh, God. Of course. Of course. St st status and conditions. And there we go. I guess we're not going to be disarming these mines. some stim packs on myself. clear the car. Kansas. He's got a sniper rifle on him. Oh, 
Hit him. Coming out this way. Switch over to ten millimeter. Where did he go? Where did he go? Conditions. All the stim packs I'm using. Ah, there you are. Gotcha, my man. Sniper rifle. That I had not seen before. Oh yeah, now we're cooking with gas. This is going to be very, very good for us. Oh, five ammo. Sheesh. Take a look at the wasteland. West here. Travel to the playground, the minefield. Okay. Still got to do that. Salisbury steak, Coca-Cola, Salisbury steak, cherry bombs. This little stash here, this guy out of Kansas. Let's see what he had up here. Locked. 308. 308. And 5, 5 mm. Good. Alright, let's make our way back out to that playground, shall we? Fuck. Oh my gosh. Where is the playground? To your right. Gotcha. Thank you, Zolkova. That's the case to my right.
Oh, turn around. Zelkova saying. Ah, there you are. Thank you for that help, Zelkova. I appreciate it. All right, completed. Return to Moira. Oh, at long last. That was a costly quest. All right, back to Megaton we go. Damn. Hey there. That was a painful quest. Okay, let's go and wait. Wait for the day. Still locked. I'll wait one more hour. Two more hours, sorry. Yep. All right, Moira. How are those hot little potatoes? Or whatever. You know what I mean. All right. I got to the minefield alive, and I even brought you a present. My very own landmine. Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? I say endurance. There may have been an, there may have been an explosion or two. Oh, and a sniper. Big deal. No big deal. Oh, well, if that's all, I'll just study this and hope there aren't any more explosions, shall I? I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course, but it's easy to make your own, too. I'm going to say, is that all for the first chapter? Yep, it's looking like it'll be a real tough book for real tough guys. And real tough gals, too, of course. Here, for your services. I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. All right, I'm ready to start the next chapter. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Uh, tell me more about repelling mole rats. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. All right, I'll test out the repellent for you. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator, and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. All right. Uh, let me see what you have for sale. Absolutely. Let's see what we can offload. That was a painful, painful mission. Ah, uh, adventurers, please join me in welcoming Sa Valon to the Wyvern's Lair, saying, Yawn, good morning. <laughs> so cool with that line, I know. Good to have you here, Sa. I'm actually probably going to wrap up the stream here shortly, I'm thinking. I have been streaming a little longer than I usually do, and me being... DM dinosaur that I am these days, I can't really stream for extended periods of time and feel feel so great. So I think yeah, this might be it for the time being. Um, I did not mean to sell all my wastelander gear here. Yes, Yusagi's been keeping us company here. Really good to have her here. Yusagi, thank you for hanging out with us. Um, 
Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. Yeah, we can go ahead and sell that too. I am not sentimental about those things. Let's see, do we want anything here? No, we're going to go ahead and accept all that. 720 Good hunting. caps. The Good. info you're bringing back is great. Looking forward to more. Running dangerously low on all our all our necessities here. Let's go get healed up. The clinic. And then let's probably call it a stream. It's been a good long stream. Covered a lot of ground here. Let's talk to Doc Church. You don't got nearly enough holes in you to be bothering me. You came in here on your own power, so you must not be busted up too bad. I'm going to say, uh, I'm hurt. I need help, Doc. Good lord, this'll take some work. One hundred caps worth of work. All right, here's your money. All right, hold still. How attached to your fingers would you say that you are? Oh, wait. Never mind. There it is. All better now, you big baby. Can I get back to work now? All right, that's all I need. All right, then. Let's take a look at my character. Stats. I'm looking good. Excellent. Good. And we're making good ground to uh, level 5 here. All right, this is, I think, where I'm going to drop a save and call it a stream. I'd like to thank everyone who uh, dropped by over the course of my second episode of Fallout 3 here at the Wyvern's Lair. And all the... Uh, the adventure is here at the end of the stream. Yutsagi, thank you for being here. Saw, always good to see you, Drake, at the Wyverns Lair. Speaking of Drake's, Zelkova, haven't seen an age or two. Glad to see you active on your channel as well. Scooby, great seeing you. Velocimus Rex, uh, and I just want to remind everyone here that I will be streaming episodes 2 and 3 of the Fallout TV show at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard at the Wyverns Lair Discord. So if you want to catch that with us, you're welcome to. I look forward to seeing all of you again here soon at the Wyverns Lair. Bye, everyone.